Hi everyone, my name is Lily and I'm an educator at the RISD Museum in Providence, Rhode Island. I'm very excited to share with you two sculptures that I love from the museum. Both of these sculptures were made by female artists out of materials you might not expect artists to use. After we learn about these two sculptures, you'll have a chance to make a sculpture out of materials you find around your house. You can pause this video anytime to look, think, or respond to my questions or activities. This artwork is called Zeta, and it was made by an artist named Linda Benglis as part of a series she called Sparkle Knots. This sparkle knot was made to hang on the wall like a painting, but it's three-dimensional like a sculpture. It's about three feet wide, three feet high, and one foot deep. What do you think this sculpture would feel like if you could touch it? The artist made it to look soft and squishy, but gave a hard, flexible metal structure inside so that it would hold its shape. Benglis decorated it with materials that kids sometimes use, acrylic paint and glitter. She didn't want to use expensive materials to make her artwork look serious or grown up. She wanted it to look soft, fun, and playful. I also like how she didn't paint the whole thing and left some of the plain cotton showing so you can see that it's handmade. Linda Benglis was born in 1941. She studied painting and sculpture in college and then worked as a third grade teacher in Louisiana before moving to New York to focus on her own art. She likes experimenting with materials like wax and liquid rubber that she can squish pour and shape freely so that her sculptures become what she calls frozen gestures. A gesture is a movement that you make with your hands. Looking again at Benglis's sparkle knot Zeta, try to make a gesture with your hands that looks loopy, curvy, or knotted like this sculpture. You can use your fingers to trace the lines and shapes or try to tangle your fingers together. I like imagining the different things that this sculpture could be. Maybe a sparkly hairband for an elephant to wear to a party, or a laundry pile of a snake's best sequined stockings. Can you imagine something else this sculpture could be? Zeta doesn't really look like many of the other artworks in the RISD Museum. And that was Linda Benglis's point. She thought that other artists were taking themselves too seriously, rather than making artwork that's fun to look at. She also wanted to show people that art can be girly and glittery and still be important enough to be in a museum. Now let's look at our second sculpture. This one was made by an artist named Shari Mendelssohn. Like Linda Benglis, she chooses her materials very thoughtfully to express ideas through her artwork. Looking closely, can you guess what materials she used to make this sculpture? You might notice that it looks kind of like a vase for flowers. And if we could peek inside from the top, you'd see that it's hollow, like it could hold something. Shari Mendelssohn was inspired by visits to museums where she saw ancient vessels made from glass and clay like this glass bottle and pitcher from Rome in Italy that are nearly 2,000 years old. It's pretty amazing to me that these have lasted thousands of years without breaking. These ancient vessels make me wonder about the people who made and used them so long ago and how these objects were special to them. I doubt they ever imagined that their bottles would end up in a museum in the future. Just like the ancient Romans, we use things every day that may still be around 2,000 years from now. But now we have a new modern material that many containers are made out of, plastic. Instead of reusing the same glass bottle for years, often we use a plastic bottle just once. These bottles will take hundreds or even thousands of years to break down in the earth or in our oceans. Here is a close-up view of Shari Mendelssohn's round blue-green vessel. Remember how I asked you to guess what materials she used to make it? 
Those round shapes with different patterns inside are the bottoms of plastic bottles that Mendelssohn found in and around her home in New York. Then she used glue, paint, and moldable plastic to combine these bottle pieces together into a vessel that looks like it could be made out of glass. The patterns on these bottle pieces remind me of flowers, seashells, and even eyeballs. What else do they look like to you? One benefit of making art from trash is that Mendelssohn can find most of her materials for free. But she also does it to make people think about the things we use and leave behind as a society and the impact of different materials on the environment. Her choice of materials for her art has small but real effects on the environment by taking plastic bottles out of landfills and oceans and into museums and people's homes as treasured artworks. Here again are the two sculptures with the list of materials the artists used to make them. To make Zeta, Linda Benglis used cotton cloth, aluminum screen, plaster, acrylic paint, and glitter. To make round blue-green vessel, Shari Mendelssohn used plastic bottle pieces, hot glue, resin, multiple plastic, and paint. Now that we've seen these sculptures from the RISD Museum for inspiration, I'm gonna leave you with an art project that you can do even if you don't have a lot of special art supplies at home. Make a sculpture out of materials you find in your house. Like Linda Benglis and Shari Mendelssohn, think about what materials would be unexpected and fun to work with. First, look around your house and even in your recycling bin and find materials that you can use to make a sculpture. As you gather your materials, make sure to check with the adults in your house that it's okay for you to use them. Here are some of the materials that I found in my house. Colorful yarn, aluminum foil, plastic from a shopping bag, bubble wrap, rubber bands, zip ties, and an egg carton. I chose these materials because I liked their different colors and textures, none of them are too precious, and all of them are pretty easy to work with without any special tools. Plastic bottles are fun to use too, but you may need some help cutting them up. Then I put these materials together into a sculpture that I call Space Flower. Remember how Linda Benglis called her sculpture Zeta and her series Sparkle Knots? You can give yours a name too. The only tool I used was a pair of scissors. I used rubber bands to hold other materials together, so I didn't need glue or tape, but you can use those if you have them. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing the work of Linda Benglis and Shari Mendelssohn and how they use materials in surprising ways. And I hope you're inspired to create your own artwork at home. If you have any questions or thoughts that you'd like to share, or if you want to post some of your work, we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me, and please stay in touch with all of us at the RISD Museum.